Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. As promised in the last WordPress tutorial, we're going to look at giving your WordPress blog its own title, tagline and adding some users to your blog. To get started, open your preferred web browser and browse to your blog. Now click on login and login. Uh, okay, so now we're in. The first thing we want to do is give our blog its own title and tagline. To do that, click settings, and at the top of the page, you'll see we have site title and tagline. So give your site a title. And obviously, give it a tagline. And click Save. And then, if we go back to our site, we'll see, we'll see titles changed and so it has tagline. So, the other thing we want to do while we're here is to add some users. As you can see, I've already added one here, poor Joe Blogs, who I've probably signed up to many things now. So we'll go ahead and add a new one. So we'll add me. And then we'll provide a password. Right, okay, so you also have the option to send the password for the user to their email address. Obviously, we don't have this set up at the moment, so, but we'll look at this in the near future. And you can set their role. Seeing as it's me, I'm going to set my role to be an administrator. And I'm going to click Add New User. So there we go, we have two new users. What I'm going to do now is quickly show you what the user will see when they first sign in. So if I log in as myself. see I see the same thing and there's various options I can set if I click on myself I can change my color scheme and I can also change how my name is shown on the on the blog so for example I can show it as Josh it's just my last name as my full name which I'll put and also you can add other information such as your AOL your Yahoo Java and Google talk biographical information and you can set a new password so now I've just changed my name I'm going to click update profile and I'll see, you'll see it says at the top howdy Josh Mullins alright so that's it for this tutorial on the next one we will look at applying a theme to your site because obviously the um, default one which is just it's pretty boring so we'll look at changing that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.